Hey guys, uh, Nick here, aka Chardart. I uh, just wanted to go over a new deck with you guys. Um, I haven't seen anyone else play it yet, so uh, it's a pretty interesting deck. We're actually going to be playing with ho -Oh GX. Um, I was helping one of my uh, friends make this deck online. Uh, I traded up a couple of cards for him, um, so that way he could actually try this deck out as well. He's been pretty successful as well with it. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of wanted to show that off for you guys. Um, basically, we're going off of the good old uh, Ho 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 Oh GX uh, Kiawe, um, and basically just trying to set up that way. I actually did not see what my opponent was playing, so shot it be interesting. I want to go first here. All right, perfect. We have a great starting game. So, we're just going to drop down the Ranguru here. So, basically, we're also playing, um, as you can probably see, we're playing Silvalli GX uh, just to get the retreat out. Um, honestly, it's a great method. Um, my opponent might be weak to Psychic, so we're not going to play that down. I think... Here, well, here are the lightning three and the choice band and we will go for a techno um, and basically you're just jumping in with uh, dawn wings so but yeah so we're gonna go the type null up and struck for one uh set will be good for next turn so we'll put all four energies on hello of course this is a pretty intimidating first turn, you know, start off with all these energies on ho -Oh. works out pretty well generally, so, but we'll see how everything goes. Not really sure what version of Malamore we're up against, but, you know, everything should be pretty easy. Unfortunately, Sacred Fire only does 50, not 60, but it's pretty good against the Altaria GX deck um, because you can actually just Sacred Fire all of their uh, Swablus whenever they're in play. I don't think there's a 60 HP Swablu, so uh, it makes it pretty easy to just hit things on the bench. Shining Arceus. All right. So, looks like a Shining Shrine deck. <coughs> too nervous about this. Should be pretty easy because I can one hit KO at all of these. Coco. So the Tapu Coco is kind of rough for us because Ho um, does have a weakness to lightning, but it's not that bad. I think next turn we'll attach this psychic memory. Now we could go I mean, we pretty much hit everything well, so. Cool, so this should be fairly good. So just Cynthia here. And we pretty much have the combo going already. So go for. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Dawn Wings. We'll go ahead and attach a fire energy back here. And I think we're gonna hang on to all these cards. So I think we're just gonna hit this Inky for NK <laughs> Inky uh, for 180. A little bit overkill, but it's alright. Then even if they pull off the double colors energy, we have everything we need in order to at least start swinging on them. Second Malamar into play, but that's really not a big deal. Maybe they're gonna be spreading damage, but all of our stuff, all of our Pokemon are GXs for the most part. So it's not a huge deal to deal with spread damage. No, I almost wonder if uh, Max Potion would be good in here. So you know, you just 
max potion and then Kiawe, I mean yes you lose a turn but at the same time all the damage that they do to you can be taken off and then you just Kiawe back all the energy. Alright, so we're here. Don't think we need this Dawn Wings right now. Real question is do I need anything else though? Do I need choice band? Um I guess we start setting up a second hello. That seems fine. <coughs> um don't really need to, but I mean it's a supporter for the turn. Uh, so we'll just grab this acrobat. This, it's a nice acrobat. And then, oop, uh, we'll just go to invasion. And then, retreat. And just for fun, we'll play this down. Um, it'd be kind of nice to have the fire energy in the discard. So, and then we'll just Phoenix burn this. I don't know why I grabbed that. I knew that was Gladian. I just put it there. But that's okay. Should have memorized where I had my prizes. I probably could have gone for the Acrobike, which was just right above that, the Gladian. But that's alright. Now, my opponent probably is going to go for a Psychic, uh, which is okay. Very worst case scenario, I don't see this guy getting knocked out, so yeah. We have the Savali pretty much ready to go. So, I mean, right now it's just kind of a fine my Pokemon. It's kind of nice, actually. Let's. Um. Could attach to uh, it seems better. I uh, don't need any of these, so I guess we'll just burn this card. Do have four energies for Kiawe, so we could always Kiawe next turn. Oh no, 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 no. Dang it, I chose the wrong attack here. Shoot. Uh, and of course, there's no way to cancel. Uh, okay, I guess we'll stop that up then. Was not thinking I should have just jumped in and KO'd it, but I was not thinking about it. I guess that's kind of good though. We can so hoping to Kiawe this turn, but I guess that's kind of off the table. So we are going to go ahead and invasion, train, and then I guess we'll play Gladiator. Um. Sure, we'll grab the acrobatic coin, alright. And. Um, it wouldn't hurt to set up another sub alley. And then we'll do it properly this time, and Phoenix Burner. My opponent kind of looks like they're in a bad situation, which is, I don't think they. Yeah, they don't have any energies. And discard. And. Kind of just relying on that right now. So, and if they don't get the attack off here, we have a couple of different options. We can. I, mean, I might just promote this Hello or Kiawe onto it. But all three of their Tap of Coke is back. So, I mean, if they're just going to sit here and hit us with Coco, I mean, that's. Threat, but it's not a big threat. I'm just gonna pass? If they just pass, I'm definitely going for this Cowway. Yes, I could. An energy recycler for one, for the two. Put those back in my deck just to make sure I have them. My opponent doesn't have it. Cool. Oh, they're just burning it. Okay. Oh, do not like having to deal with that. So we are going to do what we need to to take that out. 
What are you doing? What? Guess I'm confused about what they're doing, so we're just going to. I kind of want to take this out, but I know if I do, it's going to mean that he gets that out. So I think we'll just kill it here. We're just going to attach three to this back home. <coughs> All right, brother. let's go. Probably should have promoted the type null, just so that way if they do hit into me, it's not a huge hit, but that's no big deal. Maybe next turn I'll draw into Guzma, that'd be cool. I just want the energies off of here. And now they've done what they need to to kind of get that rolling. So I need to take out this threat. Um, suppose we will get rid of these two. Go for the second Silvalli. Uh, my opponent's gonna just go ahead and start spreading though. Um, yeah, come on, instruct. Please draw Guzma, that's what we need. We do not get a Guzma. And we have no real way to put down the Guzma. So I think my opponent probably just wins this one here because I can't really fight back. And of course there's all my Guzmas. So... I guess we'll start building up this Silvalli. We can promote the not dead one. Not almost close to dead. Go <laughs> grab the Gladian again, I guess. Okay. And yeah, that puts pretty much everything where my opponent wants it to be. So let's see. So I move two over to here, then KOs that. And I move seven over there. The KOs that. I don't know if they have enough. But if they do magical swap, I'm not really going to sit around and question them. I'm just going to go ahead and let it ride. Which it looks like they're going to. Uh, this Bunsies will sit here and wait. Let's see, I have 390. Yeah, no, I do not feel like sitting waiting for you. Alright, so I guess those spread decks are um, not the easiest thing for my deck to handle. But that's alright, so we'll roll into the second game here. Yeah. It looks like it's a Zorar like rock deck, um, which is kind of nice because we pretty much hit it all. Um, one hit KO. This hand isn't great, but it's workable with. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll nest ball, put the ho -ho, ultra ball, get the lele, so that way we can kill away. The only problem is I think my opponent's going first, so that's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and take a card. Yeah, I keep this Guzma though. So, on this ball, on Ultra Ball, I guess the Ultra Ball and the Fire Energy. Doesn't seem great, but. <coughs> looks like our option. Just as long as we don't get. First turn judged. Let's see what they pull off this. They 
probably go for Lily assumably. I'm gonna Cynthia. You know, right now, Zora Glycan Rock is one of the top tier decks for sure. It's a pretty good deck and it's definitely hard to counter. On a plus note, Hello oh, does have resistance to fighting. Ooh, there we go. Um, so that's kind of nice. And we are going to... Now, let's... I uh, want the full art one. So why not, right? Hmm. So yeah, we are going to Ultra Ball away these two. To get the land away, to get the key away, which I better make sure is actually in my deck. Cool, I have three in the deck. I can first turn Lily, but he always so much better for this deck. Okay, so attach all this. And then we have our ability to hit anything we want next turn, so it's kind of nice. Hopefully, he evolves one of these into a Zora Arc. That way, I can just hit it um although actually that might be a problem because i don't have it choice bands in hand I'm pretty sure i just no i did toss one the goal is trying to knock out a once upon zora that'd be nice nice thing about this too is it gets right past ace roller and max elixir or max potion I just hit right into him. Two Zorgs up. Three Zorgs up. And that might be a problem. Because he's going to promote my hello. No. Dawnwings. Okay. So he's just going to take the KO on Dawnwings. I don't really need to Guzma then, because I could just literally do a nest ball for. Don't really want to get another Dawn Wings out. So, yeah, we're just going to Lily here. We got the choice band, that's good. Ooh, don't really want to see the energy recycler go. So, sad as I am to toss that, I'm going to just have to toss that. Plus, no, Phoenix Burn. Now we have everything we need next turn to take another knockout, which is nice. And then we have. Yeah, currently, the best you can do to us is 150. So, but yeah, this deck's kind of nice, especially because you can just. Turn around, one hit KOs or orgs, you don't have to really worry about them. Not a huge threat. And then, next turn, as much as I hate to put the Dawn Wings back into play, we might have to just so that way I can take another knockout. And then that should put us up on prizes. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't promote this ho -Oh, though, because without this ho -Oh, I wouldn't have been able to have an attacker. I mean, granted, yes, I would have been able to knock him out. They would have had this ho -Oh pretty darn close to death. Just would have had to hit 40 on it. I'm too concerned about the DNC. So this is definitely getting knocked out next turn, but type Ursa Valley. And maybe I will draw some okay. kind of play around it. I have just one energy in my discard. 
Ähm so I'll knock this out. We're gonna need to have something for next turn. So hmm. Do I like doing that? Hopefully the other one is in yeah, it's in the deck. So but we have our key always in deck. We also have our memories. Oops. Almost what I'm grabbing that. Cool. So yeah, well this is all up for next turn. And then we'll just copycat for four, I guess. Um and then vision. And then retreat. And actually, yeah, next turn we can just hit him for Savage GX attack. Which is the exact same attack as Lycanrox. So, should be pretty quick game here. <coughs> yeah, I actually kind of like Savage as a secondary attacker. Um, I hate the artwork here, I just think that this looks so silly, but it's mouth open yelling I think that's like its tongue right there maybe <laughs> so um, but yeah we should be able to just hit next turn for a rebel GX and be good to go so opponents that's what they want so they're probably gonna goose my around which is just fine with me because I'll just take the knockout back I think my opponent knows that I have game so I kinda hate it when they, like, stall out. There we go. So that's one win. Let's see if we can go get two wins here. Shouldn't be a problem, like I said, I've been doing pretty well with this deck. Fire attack, normal electric. Maybe our control? Probably. That's not good hand. Mm, that's not a good hand either. <coughs> so, we might have rough start. Oof, yeah, rough, really rough start. Um, so... I really don't want to put the Lele down, but we might have to because this hand's just awful. Ugh, misplayed. Why did I even do that? Ugh. I, I don't like that. That was bad. Alright, uh, so we're gonna run another round. Um, we're just gonna consider one win, two losses, which is not good, but we are gonna run one more round and see how that goes. Hopefully that goes a little bit better. I'm the Blastoise. I can't believe I misplayed like that and put Tavalele down on the bench. Um, I guess I thought it was an ultra ball, but no. Um, so... That would have been a good hand, too. Could have worked with that. Come on, there we go. So, I th think we'll just promote this and then I guess we'll bench that. Okay, so. 
no real way to get a uh, hello fully powered up, so I guess we'll just be in the little touch. I don't think my opponent uses anything that I would require an electric memory on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I think this would be the right turn for copycat. Oh, game, why do you guys do this to me? I mean, like, huge hand of nothing. Um, I mean, we realistically have everything that we need. Uh, so I guess we'll just go for a second hole. And then, I'm not even going to slide down the choice band, just in case I feel boring. So, we're just going to pass. See what our opponent does here. The Apricorn Maker engine, huh? I like that style, but I think that it's just I don't know, it's kind of a rough way to do it because you're putting items in the discard for Garb door. And actually, they're playing the world champion deck. They're not the world champion, uh, the guy who had that deck um, ended up winning the last regional tournament. So, my understanding is it's not a bad deck. And we are going to just go ahead and. I think we have to get Kiawe going. So, which we definitely have enough energy for. Um, so, yeah, I guess we will just go ahead Kiawe here. And then next turn, hopefully, off of this, Cynthia, we should be able to um, pull the Sabali GX and we should be able to hit in that. But not bad. I mean, while this one's going through and attacking, this one will be able to start powering up in the back. It's not exactly the ideal situation, but it's where we're at. And so I have two, three, four. I think I keep an eye on my items because I don't want to get. Smack by garbage at the end of the day. And the plus note my opponent doesn't have anything in their hand. So. If I can get a Guzma, that would be really good. But of course, who knows if I'll get Guzma off the top draw. And Cynthia. <laughs> Alright, so we are just going to Cynthia. Why did you not just go for that? Um, okay, so I guess we are also stuck on the plus stone. So and they'll grab by Cynthia. Refresh the hand. Do 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 do. Wait for you. <laughs> See, what I strongly dislike about TCGL versus like real life is a lot of the players on here, you know, like, I, I give them the benefit of the doubt, maybe they're doing something in the background, you know, maybe they're making dinner or something like that. I like it. I just, just dislike when it takes someone like 30 seconds to play their turn or they like wait to play their turn I should say like that to me is just I don't know not respectful kind of trying to time out the game but <clears throat> though there are instances like you know for the people who play um, on YouTube a lot, you know, you'll they'll kind of pick through their decisions before they make them. 
Um, I don't really like to play like that. I mean, it's good, and you definitely win more games that way. Um, it's more strategic, but I don't know. I just kind of like having fun with the game. And we have weakness policy, which I guess could be nice. I don't have anything that's weak to psychic. I do have something that's weak to dark, but I can't even attach to it. Um, so, you're just going to Cynthia and hope for Savali to come along. What well, way to get him? Which, we will take that. I did not want to throw away that, but that's okay. So, we'll go Savali. And he's weak to fighting, so that's not a big deal. Go ahead and promote here. Start taking hits. So my opponent still hasn't drawn any energy up. I have to part of their deck. Two, three, six. Okay. So I'm hitting 120 on us. Still decent to hit KO, but we'll work through it. Ah, this Pokemon tool card has no head. Oh. We attach what the lightning memory. Oh, right. So I don't feel like I've, you know, really showed off the deck thoroughly enough. I know we've gone two wins, two losses. Let's try one more game. See what one more game gets us. Dragon <coughs> um, psychic. And I didn't see what the other type one was. Oh, fighting. Um, okay, so. This ain't great, but we can make do with it. So, so. Type norm. Okay. Come on, Acrobike. Hmm. Don't have any way to really discard, so uh, we're just going to nest ball for the ho o. -oh. And really 4 4. Acrobatic. Sure, we'll take fire energy. And I think. So we're just going to kind of thin a little bit. And next turn I can Kiawe. Don't really like that full fix being up front, but don't really like that type null being up front either. I should have attached to the type null in that way. Next turn when I can get into Savali. And then just retreat and Kiawe right onto the ho. Oh well. Um So I think the card, card deck is kind of interesting. I like it, but I dislike it. We have Lance now, so Lance definitely can be good potential for them. Um, but a lot of them aren't really playing with Lance. Oh, wait, hold on. Why? All right, whatever. Uh, I still need to attach anyway, so I guess it's better to go there then. That place is so. Oof. I'm low on energies. Oh, because I have three in my hand. <laughs> okay. Like, wow, I must have surprised a bunch of them. So, next turn we can just retreat. And smack into something. Probably, yeah, I have the right hand to eat. So, we got the. Except two of their rare, card, rare candies. Yeah, but the it's Christmas time. The leaf heal allows you to put two dragon Pokemon from your deck onto your bench. It doesn't matter if they're, you know, basics or stage twos or what. And I mean, I think the card is downright broken, but I haven't seen anyone who is playing the Lucario decks actually play it like that. So I'm kind of interested to see that eventually maybe surface up here. And 
is the fighting types that we need to do. There's a weakness policy for Savali. Did he use his precognitive aura? I don't feel like he did. Um, let me just have one energy. Let's get that one out. Um, could go for a second type no or copycat. Uh, I think we need the copycat. If my opponent doesn't have that many cards in hand, I still need to start doing something. So, we're going to take the prize here. Copycat was changed out here. Ugh, I do not even remember what my prize is for. Uh, he's probably going to get himself the double colors energy, as well as the... Uh, Cynthia. Don't need a choice band. Two thirty, and then you just need to get the There you go. I don't want to this about it. But I don't really have much of a choice here. It does have a decent size hand though. That's kind of a plus. Yeah, sure. Why not, right? And we have enough energy. I don't like tossing some of the energy back, but it is what it is. Then we don't really have anything to mysterious treasure for. I hate to do it, but I got a GX to this. 120. Because he's going to hit me for weakness. So, well, I guess we'll take that. There you go, promote. Plus, and with the guard chomps, I'm going to be able to hit. 160 max on Silver Valley. So, it's for the choice man. <coughs> we just need to somehow knock it up this turn, which we will not be able to. Um, but we can retreat into, say, Type Null. That way we can put down the Lele and then grab Kiawe. You do have resistance, but it's not worth it. Yeah, so he's gonna hit me for 160. Okay, so I think what we need to do a couple of these out of our hand because I don't feel like there's any left in the deck. I mean, of course there are them left in the deck, but I feel like there's just so many in my hand. Uh, we can't actually play anything, so make sure we have Yahweh and we do have enough energy. So I'm gonna attach to one of these. And then Choice band one of them. And I suppose we can put it there just for funsies. Then we'll grab Yahweh. Then. Sure, we'll burn that. And just for funsies. Right? Alright, so now we are going to invasion. Make sure I do this right this time. And retreat to Technol. 
And there we go. Okay. They run through a good portion of my hand there. Actually, it's not gonna knock out this type null. You know, oh, he's probably gonna go for the back there. Which is cool, I guess. I feel like I should be playing more Guzmas. I'm pretty sure I played the three or four, so. Actually, we won't be able to retreat this. But we do have another type on deck. So, I guess we will just... Resist it, but we don't want to give the price. So, I guess we will just... I really don't want to lose the type null, but I guess it is what it is. And we could just... I think we lost this one. That's alright. So a lot of the you know, ways that I've been playing this type is through tournaments. Um, I guess, unfortunately, it does not do as well outside of tournaments. Um, I don't even want to bench anything, not that it really matters, but, yeah, it doesn't even really matter, but, this Phoenix Burn, that out, and then they will win next turn, so. But, yeah, it's done pretty well in tournaments, and I think people, you know, this Garchomp Lucario deck, I don't generally play that in tournaments, you know, just because they actually want a deck that's um, more realistic, not for fun. Um, maybe at one point I'll record me doing a tournament to show you guys kind of what I, I've done, but I've done fairly well in tournaments. So, yeah. I suppose I could... Show off the event, I Uh, third there, that wasn't great. Got second there. Uh, did not do well there. Uh, won that one. And I think this other one I also did. Which I did not do well there. Alright, so, but yeah, um, so ultimately this deck does fairly well, especially in tournament events. Um, I guess it just doesn't do very well out by itself. Um, but I will at least show off the deck list so that way you guys can see. So, basically, what we have is, of course, your Rangaroos, um, Type Null Savali, Savali basically helps you retreat all your basics. Um, ho -Oh just for the big attacks, uh, Dawn Wings just because it's, you know, jump and retreat, um, one Lele, uh, four Acrobikes, two Energy Recycler, uh, Mysterious Treasure, four Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball, um, one Copycat, three Cynthia, I do play four Guzma, so I'm not sure why I wasn't drawing into any of them during those games, but yeah, so, and then one Gladian, just to make sure that nothing good is prized. Um, I mean, from there, pretty much everything is, is basically standard. Um, we play the lightning, or the electric memory, and then the fighting force and the psychic, and then I do play a weakness policy as well, um, just to make sure that Savali does have some options available to it. So, but yeah, uh, that's the deck. And uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.